I'm Dr. D. Nyamye Walker. From um, where? William V. S. Topman University. In your position? I'm the Vice President for Administration. Welcome to the Bush Chicken Camera. Thank you very much. Renovation works on the engineering building is on the way. Mm -hmm. After yeah. all of the uh, corruption saga surrounding that building, mm -hmm. where exactly did um, the university I told to get money from to start the uh, renovation work? Well, um, the contractors were under our contract and we, um, before our administration took over, we, they were already on contract. So when we took over and all of these things were on earth, uncovered, we asked uh, our president, Dr. Edward Lama Wonkeo, and um, his um, team decided that all construction work should be halted. So um, until the investigative group, the committee that was investigating all of these allegations, sends out its report. So following the report and some decisions that were taken, we asked Beko to resume um, its construction activities. So then uh, what is uh, the total cost of the project? Um, we, um, it's $250,000. Um, dollars. The, it was supposed to be a million dollars, but we were only given 250000 from the, the government of Liberia. I also gather that that building should be a two-story building. Yes, well, because of the lack of funding, we, we've decided to re reconfigure the building so that it can just be a one flat. So what exactly are you doing there now in terms of renovation? Um, I don't know if you've been there. Um, I would ask you to take some pictures. We've, we've, we were trying to, what we did was to do some assessment and see which areas were structural, structurally unsound and, and um, knock those off. And um, we're trying to do classrooms and laboratories. Okay. Yeah. Is there any timeline? Well, we're hoping that by the end of this academic year, which, um, which is in May, um, that building should have been completed so that when we resume academic 2017, 2018, we can occupy the building. So where exactly are the students being taught? The students well, of the engineering department? Um, they, they meet in several places. We have a place called RSTI, the Rubber um, um, Technology Institute um, building, and then they also have some in our main, um, on our main campus, the um, faculty, not the faculty, but the classrooms. How do you feel as a staff mm -hmm. that uh, the administration, I mean, has done all it could mm -hmm. to get the work on the way? Well, I'm telling you, we are crunched for space, um, classroom space, laboratory space. So when we, 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 when we found out that we could continue the, the project, we were elated because this means that we'll have enough space for the engineering uh, um, um, college to have its um, classes. And so we, 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 felt, we felt very elated. Have you spoken with the contractors since uh, the renovation work started? And what advice mm -hmm. have you sent out to them, I mean, as it relates to what happened in the past? Yeah, what, what happened, I asked our um, senior director for facilities to have a conversation with them, following that conversation, um, to have a meeting planned with me and them so that we can have some conversations to know what all of the ramifications for the completion of the buildings uh, uh, are. Because I actually took over this position on November the 1, November 1st. So since then, I've been trying to, to assess a lot of projects and other um, operational issues um, on the campus. Because as VP for administration, I'm responsible for, for the operations of the university. So I'm doing a lot of assessments in my first two months. You came in and saw this corruption hanging over this engineering building. How did you feel? Well, in the first the time, uh, in the first place, personally, I um, what I call a pet peeve. I am um, I, I have zero tolerance for corruption. So um, when I heard that, I was taken aback, you know, and um, my subconscious was saying, I hope that this is not true, that um, these these colleagues of mine will be exonerated, you know. Um, so anything that has to do with corruption just hits me hard. So I have zero tolerance for it. In fact, we are putting together um, in place some process um, that would um, hinder any contractor from doing that. And so when that process is completed, we'll all look at it um, along with the contract to ensure that we do not have a repetition 
of this kind of stuff called kickbacks. <laughs> <laughs> the issue of kickback was something we, I mean, that really brought the university to its knees. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you think uh, you can actually get that out of the system, as you speak, sir? Well, you know, human beings are human beings, Zezé. And uh, I know, having said that, we are fallible creatures. We do make mistakes. But um, we, our administration is on the vanguard. We are going to make sure that the issue of corruption is not tolerated, is not encouraged, and is eradicated at Topman University. Because um, these are taxpayers' money. And we do not want taxpayers to, to, to have a cloud, some doubts hanging over Topman University because we as stewards are not managing their monies well. So we want to ensure that we eradicate corruption from William V. S. Tupman University. So finally, again, where did you get the money from to start the renovation? Um, I, again, as, like I said, they were on contract. So we yeah. only paused the the, 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 the the construction until the final findings of um, the committee. So since that findings came out, we told them to resume. So it means uh, the total cost again is... Uh, it was $250,000 that, that was given. And. Uh, that is what you're going to stick to? Yes, we're going to stick to that. And if we need, I mean, what, no, um, this is what is going on. Um, we, part of the project for this year is to ensure that we have the, the, the um, rest of the money from the, the government to ensure that we complete the building. So, but the government is going to send an, an assessment team to ensure that, yes, what, what we are saying, what we've reported, because we've given a performance uh, um, report to the Ministry of Finance. So they are going to come and try to vet that report wants to ensure that that is right, then they will release some money to co for us to complete it. Is it a performance report on the engineering building? On the engineering building. Okay. Yeah. And what what uh, did you actually state in that performance report? Well, um, we firstly, just like I told you, um, where we were with the contract, um, what the contractors have done since we've resumed, you know, um, some of the issues that 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 um, hindered the, the the progress of the building, and what we intend to do with what we are doing right now. So we, we took some pictures and stuff. But since that those pictures were taken, um, a lot of progress have been made. So when the team comes, they will see that yes, um, we are doing something to move forward with this building. Your final comment, sir. Well, I just want to thank um, um, each of you for um, doing what you're doing. Continue to do that. Because what we need is uh, uh, what we need are people, uh, journalists, who would be truthful to the profession. You know, um, once you 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 smell you smell some something, you know, you want to go after it to ensure that you have a balanced reporting. So find out from this party and that party and all of those involved before you publish. So continue to do your good work, and I want to just tell my folks at Topman University, continue to work hard because Topman University has the the the, the propensity of becoming second to none, not just in Liberia, but all of West Africa and Africa.